Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. How'd it go at the dentist? He made me promise to give up junk food. I'll die without <laughs> jelly beans. Tell you what, if you stop eating junk food, I'll stop biting my nails. See, we can give up our bad habits together. It'll be fun. You have a warped definition of fun. That's it, Ashley. Keep your leg on him. Don't let him doze off. Shh, Prancer, calm down. I hope you installed brakes on that man. You're gonna hurt her feelings. She's got way too much energy. Not for long. Well, if you're going to lunge her, keep her at the far end. Dime's trying to sleep down here. <laughs> Dime trot. Easy there, cowboy. Use your leg. Easy. <laughs> Slow down. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Okay, Ashley? Uh huh. Girls, if you can't control her, she shouldn't be in here. I'm sorry, Max. She tore the lunch line right from my hands. It's obvious Prance is not cut out to be a school horse. You saw what she was like when we rescued her from McLeod. She's way better now. She nearly bit my hand off when I fed her this morning. She won't let anyone catch her in the paddock, and here she is mowing down my student. She's probably just excited. I've given her plenty of chances. She's left me no choice. As of tomorrow, she's for sale. Because she doesn't know how. We have to teach her how to be the most perfect school horse. What are you doing? Getting Prince's tack. You're not going to use a running martingale on her, are you? You saw her. We need the extra control. No way. I thought we were going to free lunch her. Oh, yeah, right. Good idea. So, let her run loose? We'll let her tire herself out. Since when does Prancer get tired of running? <laughs> We've got the whole ring to ourselves. Don't worry, you'll be a great school horse. Carol and Stevie are excellent teachers. <laughs> Come on, Carol, just to take the edge off her. The only way to turn Prancer into a school horse is to make her behave like one. If we let her run loose all the time, what's to stop her from taking off in the middle of a lesson? Shh. Not in front of you know who. You're making her nervous. So you're really gonna sell Prancer? That's the idea. But you can't. I'll make sure she goes to a good home. It won't be as good as Pine Hollow. Well, I can't keep a horse that goes around charging my students now, can I? Tell Lisa. Stevie! What are you doing? Hey! Jelly beans. Ha! Ragged and chewed. No beans for me, no nails for you. 
Feeding a hypo whole sugar is so not going to help. You're the problem. You're pushing Prancer too hard. She's a trained horse. We just need to channel her energy. What are you, a walking horse manual? What she needs is a good run to get rid of that energy. I didn't know you were suddenly the expert on training. I didn't say I was. Yeah, but everything I do is wrong and everything you do is perfect. Things are pretty good. Way better than fingernails. E Starlight, hungry? <laughs> ah. <laughs> you hate being in, don't you? <laughs> Let me guess. Yeah, Prancer. <laughs> oh, poor old Starlight. Best friend's getting all the attention, and you're stuck inside. It's not fair, is it? not to let her run. You can't tell me what to do. Max is gonna be here any minute. I promised him a perfect school horse. She was miserable. She had to run. If Max sees her like this, he's gonna sell her for sure. Maybe if you thought about Prancer instead of yourself for a change. I am thinking of Prancer. But because of you, she won't even listen to me anymore. All she wants is jelly beans. It's not my fault I found a training aid that actually works. Candy is not a training aid. Good girl. Lisa, she's listening to you. Looks like a different horse. Wants your jelly beans. Jelly beans. I didn't know she was gonna do that. That's it. Someone's going to get hurt. I don't want you riding Prancer anymore. Understand? But Max, you saw how good she was in the ring. I know you love her, but she's never going to be a school horse. I've had an offer on her, and I'm taking it. Break his heart to see Prancer get taken away. Hey, this one for you. Starlight needs him more than I do. It's hard losing your best friend. You shouldn't have put all that pressure on her, Carol. Well, you got her addicted to jelly beans because Lisa wouldn't let me eat them. I was trying to help you, Stevie. Well, Stevie was a whole lot nicer when she wasn't going through junk food withdrawals. She's gonna come running when she hears that. Maybe we should have taken our horses. By the time we tacked them up, we would have lost Prancer. We lost her anyway. Look! This is where the old Willow Creek mine used to be. 
Horses haven't been allowed on these trails for years. Doesn't mean it was Prancer. This is the only sign we've seen of a horse. I'd like to think it's ours, okay? Whatever you say, you're the expert. Guys, it's getting late. I don't want to be looking for Prancer in the dark. Fine. Fine. To you. Hmm? Relax. You're going to see Prancer. <laughs> if we can find her. The hoof prints end here. Maybe she doubled back. She could be home by now. I doubt it. She knows Max is going to sell her. That's why she ran away the first time. Oh, you can read horses' minds now, too? Don't worry. We'll find her. No hoof prints and no horse. We should just go back to the stables and tell Max. So you're just going to give up on her? No, but we're obviously not going to find her like this. Well, I'm going to keep looking. Biggers. What's that supposed to mean? You think you know everything. You never listen to anyone else. Am I the only one who cares about what happens to Prancer? Stop it! Like we found the old Willow Creek mine. No kidding. How are we gonna get out of here? The same way we got in. There's no way we're gonna be able to get back there. Oh, so you're the expert on tunnels too? What if it caves in on us? The faster we get out of here, the better. We can't go into the tunnel. It's pitch black in there. Present from Dad. Military special. Come on. You sure you don't want me to go? Yes, I'm sure. You stay here in case Prancer comes back. I've called everyone I can think of. Vet, police, animal rescue. The entire town of Willow Creek will be searching for a runaway horse. She could be anywhere by now. I'll check McLeod first. You should never go back to that slime ball. I tried to sell it to the slaughterhouse. McLeod's barn was her home for the first three years of her life. Makes sense you go somewhere familiar. Did you ask the girls? I thought they went home. Doesn't seem a bit of a coincidence that Prance has disappeared just as you've had an offer on her. No way. Where would they stash her? These are the same girls who kidnapped Prancer in the middle of the night and hid out at our old barn. That's a good point. Maybe I'll check there first. Um, would you mind giving their parents a call, see if they know anything? Yeah, I'll phone them, but uh, in my experience, parents are always the last to know when their children are up to something. You always knew what I was doing. I never got away with anything. Yes, but that says more about your poor planning skills than it does about my parental insight. <laughs> Lisa, you found a way out! No luck. Nothing. Anyone call? No one's seen Prancer. Mrs. Reg called Stevie, Carol, and Lisa's houses. Their parents thought they were still here. Well, wherever those girls are, that's where we'll find our missing mare. Yes. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Mm. Bye. Has he found her yet? I'm afraid not. But don't worry. She'll turn up. It's all my fault. 
What are you talking about? If I just moved Dime out of the way in time, Prancer wouldn't have scared me. And then Max wouldn't have gotten mad, and then he wouldn't be selling her. Don't be silly. You did nothing wrong. Max was ready to sell her long before your little run-in. Any sign of her? Prance is out there all by herself. Don't worry. Wherever she is, the girls will make sure she's OK. What are we going to do? You guys go for help. I'll distract it. No way. What if it bites you? Don't worry, I'll be fine. You're here to buy Prancer. Prancer's a great horse. Yes, I thought so too. If you don't want to do any dressage with her, or jumping, or endurance. Really? Max didn't say anything about that. Maybe it's because I told him I was just looking for a trail buddy. Ah, uh, Prancer's great on the trail. When she's not bucking. Bucking, huh? Oh yeah, Prancer hates leaving the barn. Gallops back as fast as she can. What else can you tell me about Prancer? Can you breathe okay? Yeah, it just hurts a lot. Here. Roll this up and put pressure on her leg. Now what? Um, you need something to tie it. Perfect. Your pulse is pretty fast. You have to stay really still, okay? Are you cold? Yeah, and dizzy. Here, let's put this around her. There's anti-venom back at Pen Hollow. If we move her, the poison will run through her body faster. We'll never make it to Pine Hollow and back in time. We don't have a choice. We have to carry her. How do you know all this? My dad made me take a survival course. But I don't know how we're going to get past that snake. And Prance never kicks you. Well, hardly ever. Fascinating. Miss Chambers, Red told me you were here. What's going on? Well, that's what I'd like to know. Ashley here has been telling me all about Prancer. She has? Oh, yes. About how Prancer's difficult, injured, and um, has a tendency to kick her riders. Ashley. Is that Mrs. Red calling me? I'm sorry about that. Level with me, Max. Is what Ashley said true, or is this your way of trying to talk me out of buying Prancer? You've had a high bid, haven't you? No, no. You know all about Prancer's past health concerns. She's fine now. You've seen that for yourself. OK. Let's see her then. Well, there's a, uh, there's a slight problem. Prancer's not exactly here right now. What do you mean? Where is she? I don't know. I, uh, I think three of my riders took her. I'm sure they'll be back soon. They're very responsible girls. Stealing is hardly what I'd call responsible behaviour. Oh, no, you don't understand. They, uh, they're upset about me selling Prancer. They didn't know what else to do. They love her very much. Oh, please. We're talking about a horse, not a person. What's that supposed to mean? Max, you're a businessman. You know as well as I do that horses are for buying and selling, riding, jumping. I mean, it's a waste of time to get attached to them. The sooner those girls learn that, the better. I guess not everyone sees it that way. Well, I do. And that's all that matters because Prance is my horse. Right? <laughs> Let's 
get out of here. Hang on, Lisa. We'll find a way. Did you hear that? Hansa? Uh... You're gonna have such a cool scar on your leg, Lisa. Thanks for getting me back in time. Carol distracted the snake. That was really brave. You're the one who left the trail of jelly beans. <laughs> Prancer never would have found us. You're not gonna fight over who's braver now, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so... such a know-it-all. Me too. And Lisa, we're both really sorry. What are you guys apologizing to me for? You had to listen to us fighting all the time. It was awful. I never want to fight with either of you ever again. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, Lisa, what were you doing with that bag of jelly beans? You know, the ones you dropped beside the snake? I've kind of become addicted. But look, no chewing. <laughs> Our fearless snake-stomping horse is glad to be home. She and Starlight are chasing each other all around the paddock. You know... Prancer will never be a laid-back school horse. I know. And you tried to tell me that, but I wouldn't listen. Well, you should learn from your friends once in a while. Me? But I don't know anything about training horses. Maybe you know more than you think. You're the one who showed me what a natural jumper Prancer is. I think with a little training, she's going to make a great stadium jumper for my advanced students. Really? <sighs> but what about that buyer you found? Prancer saved the saddle club. How could I sell such a hero? Hey, Max. Oh, hey. Hey. 